Good morning. This is Dr. Philip Dries. Today is September 8, 2012. I'm still living on the beach. I am homeless. I am a homeless disabled veteran with no mental disabilities. I live here on the beach because this is where I have to live in order to really protect myself because someone may may want to see me eliminated and that would be Mayor Bloomberg to every black elected official in town and members of the Yiddish administration of Michael R. Bloomberg. And it's very important that I mention that because you see your religion dictates your morality and as the conscience of black America I wanted to bring something special to the table. I may not be an American citizen. I am a Haitian national. I'm an ally of the United States of America. And America has betrayed me as an American veteran. Let's sit down over here. You see? We got the first fisherman out. He's going out. Seagulls are out. Hello, beautiful America. See that moon right there? America is absolutely beautiful. But it's been an absolute horror story for me. And now I want to begin some personal logs to actually do it. Get my feelings out. Get some of you people to understand me personally. And understand what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. Okay, and there's no right or wrong here because I've done it already. And I played a very bad guy, a very bad character. I was very profane, I was very angry. And you've got to understand a lot of that is me personifying the anger and the disenchantment of the African American community that I run and I've been exiled to live amongst at the bottom layer of the socioeconomic pyramid in Southeast Queens, New York. And it's led to this, me living on the beach. Thank God for my old survival tactics that I've learned. I was made to actually love living like this. <laughs> to work for you, America. <laughs> to have blood on my hands for you, America. All of you guys that didn't go nowhere, didn't do nothing. Congratulations. And this is the meaning of the betrayal. To be forced to live like an animal amongst all the savage animals out here. The mosquitoes, the mice, the cats, and everything else that's out here. The seagulls. And I find it quite beautiful. <laughs> I find it quite beautiful. And I want you to join me on this passage, on this crusade, this fight for the human rights of people who are protected by civil rights and legal rights here in the United States that are protected by the Constitution, that are funded by federal dollars, and all of that is sort of rum em up. Woo! Woo! It's a big swirl. And that's where the confusion lies, and that's where we mu what we must reverse engineer in order to bring through accountability the Yiddish administration of Michael R. Bloomberg in this dozen years. What did it do? How did it do? And this is building to that. This is one of perhaps three books, I believe, uh, because the second one would be the reparations business plan to Barack Hussein Obama. And uh, that's if he becomes pre stage president. I campaigned for the president. Everybody knew me as the Obama man of Jamaica. And I'm thoroughly disenchanted. And I can't help him out. I can't help him out. I'm not. <laughs> I just can't do it. You give away a trillion dollars. You lie to me about taking the troops out of Iraq. More of my brothers are dying. And in Afghanistan, you just unloaded another 150,000 troops into Afghanistan. Now you're going to conquer Afghanistan. You're going to punish the Taliban. Come on, man. That whole idea of taking the war to them so they don't come over here, 
is absolute. That that's just that's ludicrous. That's ludicrous. You create more Taliban. You create more enemies for you to fight for more tax dollars, and then you're gonna give away trillions of dollars. You're gonna borrow. That's why I don't want to have no children here. They're gonna be born indebted instead of inheriting anything. But that's the rhetoric. I was, man, I want to just leave for Canada, I swear to God. I love America too much to stay here and, and see it get destroyed like this and, and it's the incompetence and, and, and the lies, the treachery. That's why. It's not because I hate America, you stupid. <laughs> so I'm going to go get my veterans hat, put my stuff up. You know, I'm proud. I'm proud of being a veteran. Are you crazy? What I was able to accomplish, the opportunities I got in America. And that's the other thing. If it wasn't for Jewish people in New York City, man, there's no way I could have got all of what I got from Mrs. Lohenberg on up. That my mother worked for her. Are you kidding me? Mrs. Lohenberg saw me, man, loved me, man, and took me like a son, stole me from my mom. <laughs> but my mom loved to send me away to boarding school and all that stuff. She, she wanted me to become as European as a great-grandfather, as a grandfather, that is, my great-grandfather, who was a British guy out of Trinidad who brought a black woman to Haiti. And the product of that union, that marriage, was my grandfather. And my mother was my grandfather's favorite daughter. I'm told I was the favorite grandson that he, he, it, it is said that he saw a great promise in me. I don't know nothing about that. I'm looking at myself. Don't you think I look like a failure? <laughs> look at this. I'm sleeping on the beach. I mean, how poor can you be? I don't even do alleys. <laughs> I'm all the way down at the bottom with the animals, with the animals, with the animals, under the stars. I'm blessed. I am blessed, uniquely blessed to be able to be sitting here right now and realizing what this is really all about. I've got New York City in court. I got every black elected official in town, and I'm going to get a judgment order. Now it's time to go write my book. Ah, yeah, baby! Look, people, um, I had met this young lady a long time ago, and this is off-camera, out-of-character kind of private life thing that you people don't normally get other than when I do the reality TV show with mom and the family. You know, that's real. That's all real. Uh, but there's this young lady named Genesis that's it's not a character on my show. She's a personal... It's a personal thing that I have developed for her from at sight, at sight. She is absolutely, she is such a beauty. It's, you, you, you know, she exudes this thing. That's why from day one I called her my Valium. And she doesn't think she's that pretty because she tries to compete with these strikingly featured women. That's not my baby. My baby's just like, she's an angel. She's, she's a doll. She's a housewife. Yeah. All you guys out there that's got a gorgeous wife, that's not a gold digger. That's my baby. She's moral. That's the thing about her. It's her brain that makes the difference between her and so many other women. Beautiful women. And uh, 
I'll be reporting on some of that because it helps me cope, cope with this loneliness, this desolation of my life, that my life was completely destroyed. And I'm as low as dirt to keep contained. The big story. <laughs> Redlining by Bloomberg. You know how big that is and I own it. I own it. I own it outright. Bang. I own it. I own it. And I'm selling it, people. So go to Mike Bloomberg RailroadNiggas.com. That's one word. Because if you space it out, you'll only get one of my videos. Okay? So you want to go to www.MikeBloombergRailroadNiggas.com. Okay? Wow! <laughs> Look at this, people. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Look at this. Hi! How you doing? <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. All right, people. Let's get ready to get into town because now I do paragraphs the way I'm living. Is, um, I've been kicked out of Bally's uh, because I was helping to advocate. Advocate. Ad, how do you, I'm French, okay? Advocate for Derek and other black employees who were, it is alleged, wrongfully fired by Dante Medina in order to bring an all Spanish crew into gym. And I met those guys, I lived with them, man, and I loved them too. But this is about a decision that was made that these guys are innocent. These family members of Dante Medina and his friends, uh, Jeremy and all those guys, I love those guys. And Robbie, Robbie's my number one white boy. Robbie is my number one white boy. I'm telling you, he's Italian and you ever seen a black white boy? And he's not a wigger. He's just cool like that. That's my boy, Robbie. That's my number one boy. And I swear, that's a friend for life. And I got so much out of Bally's that I'm sorry I'm going to have to sue Bally's to bring accountability to Dante Medina and Mike for what they did to me in that torture process. I'm a real nice guy, people. But everybody knows from watching a lot of my shows, I can be profane, I will beat people up, and stuff like that, you know, as a character. And some people want to, like, take, take it personal, and you want to get mad at my videos. That's crazy. This is YouTube. <laughs> it's a reality TV show. That's it. What are you getting upset about? <laughs> You see Obama on TV. That's TV. And nothing mean, none of that mean nothing. Because it don't affect you. Obama don't care about you. Obama don't know you. Somebody's got to know you to care about you. Okay, let's be for real here. It's pomp, it's posturing, it's all that stuff for him to be leader of a country. And get voted for and all that cockamamie nonsense. I fell for that stuff before. I'm the latest three persons in my country. It don't make a difference. It's what you do, my friend. It's what you do every day for you, like I'm doing for me. It's what you do every day when you wake up and you look at that beautiful sky, this creation, this life. You ain't never going to get another one. The day that goes, you'll never get another one. You'll never get another one. This is all disposable. Everything is disposable. The only thing that's not is your thought, is your mind, and what the hell you do with it. And you don't do something with it, you lose it, man. You don't do something with it, you lose it. Because there's so much in abundance. There's so much. To me, I try to use it all. <laughs> I'm trying to use it all. I'm trying to use it all. <laughs> and right now, happy. I'm just thinking about Little Miss Genesis. All right, 